Hello, and welcome to episode 9 of Come Real Fan With Me. I'm Steve Boyko. In this episode, which I've entitled Room for Everyone, I'm going to talk about how different people appreciate the hobby of rail fanning and how there's room for everyone to appreciate their hobby in the way that they choose. I wanted to start by acknowledging or recognizing the recent uh, Union Pacific Big Boy 4014 being resurrected from a static exhibit and is now again a living, breathing steam locomotive. It's quite an achievement and uh, kudos to Union Pacific and all of its dedicated workers who poured time and money into restoring this magnific magnificent beast of a locomotive. Now, that being said, I'm not really a steam fan, so it doesn't matter a whole lot to me, but I know a lot of people uh, do like steam, and for them, they have really been super excited about this big boy coming back to life. I'll give you some examples here. Uh, you can have a look at my browser. Uh, there's some Flickr photos here by Ben Coons. Really impressive photo. Uh, Flickr photo here by Tim showing the, the big boy. A lovely night photo by Larry Amalou. Patrick Durden. I really like this photo with the with the mountain in the background. Looks like he was at a similar place than the other guy. And uh, Mike Deneman, this is just an incredible, lovely photo. So all of these photos, uh, you know, stunning. A lot of people went and continue to go to see the big boy uh, all across America. I understand it's going on a tour. So uh, good for everyone who wants to go see it. Um, and uh, like I say, I'm not a big Steam fan, so I'm not going to travel very far to see it. But uh, if it happened to come through Winnipeg, of course I'd go see it. But I'm not going to fly to uh, Wyoming or anywhere else to, to see it. But for those who do, good for them. So that's really what I wanted to talk about was not just the big boy, but just in general that just because someone in enjoys uh, part of the rail fanning hobby that you don't, uh, that doesn't make it wrong. And... Some examples of those, uh, you know, everyone has their favorite railroad. Um, my favorite railroads tend to be short lines. Uh, I like I like short lines. When I started rail fanning, the only short lines in New Brunswick really were the New Brunswick East Coast Railway in northern New Brunswick and the New Brunswick Southern Railway in southern New Brunswick, by its, as you can guess by its name. Uh, both of them were my favorites. Uh, I really enjoyed the New Brunswick East Coast Railway in particular because it had uh, some of uh, these babies, XCP RS-18s on them, and uh, they were really a sight to see and a, a sight to uh, and a, a locomotive to hear. Uh, Alcos certainly have a particular sound, and so uh, I really enjoyed. The New Brunswick East Coast. Sadly, it's gone. Uh, it was reacquired by CN, and uh, all of those distinctive locomotives are gone. And uh, traffic is way down, and uh, the whole line is questionable at best. So, sadly, it's something that's in my memory and in my videos and photos, but uh, can't be seen today. New Brunswick uh, Southern Railway is alive and well and doing very well. And I do miss it, but when I'm in New Brunswick, I try to get, go out and see it again. So those are my favorites, but I know a lot of people enjoy uh, various either Class 1 railways like Union Pacific or BNSF or uh, or CSX or Norfolk Southern uh, or CN or CP in Canada or Kansas City Southern, or they enjoy regional railroads or, uh, you know, everyone everyone has their has their favorites and that's great. Uh, my favorite uh, American railroad would probably be the Norfolk Southern because I really like that black and white uh, thoroughbred uh, kind of uh, uh, paint that they have on their locomotives. I, I really like that color, color scheme. I shouldn't really call it a color scheme because there's no color, but uh, it I, I think it's very classy. Union Pacific does a nice job too. Uh, but 
Another thing that uh, came up recently uh, is that uh, CN recently celebrated its, its 100th anniversary. And to celebrate it, they're sending a bunch of containers, specially decorated containers across Canada, uh, hauled between cities by a CN freight, freight train. And uh, they've decorated some of their locomotives with a 100, CN 100 um, rectangle of paint on the side. And the rail fans have widely criticized CN for doing this because uh, it's, it's really not uh, not a lot of effort, uh, let's say, in uh, repainting the locomotives. They basically took a, uh, a portion of the side and painted a red rectangle on it and then painted the word CN100 on it. So I think rail fans would have preferred uh, repainting entire locomotives and say the old classic CN green and gold or or uh, something like that. But uh, the reality is that CN uh, wants to haul freight and uh, repainting locomotives costs a lot of money and CN isn't interested in doing that. So uh, they, they are recognizing it by, by hauling these containers around and uh, the containers uh, ha contain uh, a bunch of uh, computers that are provide a, 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 a kind of a I guess a museum-like uh, view of CN's history, and uh, I look forward to seeing them when they come to Winnipeg. Um, there's a schedule on CN's website of where they are going to be, and they're going to places that CN no longer really hauls to, like uh, Regina or Calgary. You can correct me, of course. CN does go there, but it's not it's not their major it's not their major locations. Uh, it's not on their main lines. But anyway, so uh, these these containers are are going around and uh, kudos to CN for for uh, making some recognition but I think rail fans are a little jealous of Canadian rail fans are a little jealous of some of the heritage locomotives that have been done by uh, BNSF and and Union Pacific and who knows who else and uh, I get that but I also get that uh, railroads are in the business of making money and painting locomotives doesn't make money and uh, CN and CP both have made it pretty clear that uh, the appearance of their train is not the highest priority of the railroad hauling freight on time is so that that's what they have chosen to emphasize and uh, so we don't see a, we don't see heritage units in Canada so uh, you, you can you can rant about it if you like but that's not going to help anything and uh, CN and NCP don't listen to rail fans for advice so you can get mad about it or you can accept it and I choose to accept it. So anyways, on from favorite railroads, uh, how about steam versus diesel? Uh, like I said, I'm not really a steam fan. I have seen steam locomotives. Uh, the Prairie Dog Central here in Winnipeg is uh, Canada's oldest coal-fired steam engine and it is uh, a beauty to see, a nice little locomotive and fun to chase and photograph and ride behind. Uh, I've seen the uh, the steam locomotives in Calgary's Heritage Park. Again, uh, nice to see. Uh, those are ex-U.S. Army locomotives, I believe, so they're not exactly Canadian, but uh, still nice to see. But I don't go out of my way to see steam locomotives because uh, they don't don't really interest me. But that's okay. I like diesels. I like older diesels. And uh, uh, if you like steam engines, well, great for you. And uh, hope you, hope you enjoy it, and hope you get a lot of opportunity to see them. Uh, as far as favorite locomotives go, I did say that I liked the uh, the uh, RS18s, the the X XCP locomotives like these. I also like these guys, these GMD ones, the uniquely Canadian locomotives, and uh, so they're they're uh, dwindling in number in Canada, but they're still out and about in in Winnipeg and other cities. So I like to see them. They're uh, they're unique and interesting, but you know, again, if you don't like them, that's fine. Uh, and uh, speaking of trains of a but of a smaller size, uh, railway modelers definitely have a lot of opinions on what is good and what's not good. And uh, again, I find that kind of insulting the way. Some railway modelers look down upon others' others' modeling work. You know, if you're happy, if you're happy with a 
a uh, plywood Pacific kind of railroad where you lay out some track down on a sheet of plywood and run trains around if you're happy with that. Good for you. You're not doing it wrong. You're uh, you're doing it in the way that you enjoy. Now, if you if you're not happy with that, well, you know, do what you can to improve it. But I know some people produce gorgeous, realistic looking layouts, and that's fantastic. Uh, and some people produce, you know, railroads model railroads that uh, look pretty good from three or six feet away, but uh, don't have the level of detail that other layouts have. And that's good too. If if the owner's happy with it, then that's fine. Or if they don't operate it in the quote-unquote correct and historical way, that's okay too. It's their railroad. railroad. Um, so I guess, you know, my, my message there is there's, like I said, there's room for everyone in the hobby and uh, maybe think twice before criticizing it. And finally, speaking of uh, criticizing, I only recently learned about um, this Medex Metra 210 locomotive. Apparently there is a woman in the States who has a favorite locomotive. Uh, the the uh, Metra, Metra is the um, Chicago area uh, commuter railroad. And uh, Medex 210 uh, was a F40 uh, locomotive that uh, hauled commuter trains. Uh, sadly, it caught fire and burned recently, and so it's probably not going to be be uh, reproduced now. This uh, this nice lady here, uh, who goes by the name of Baroness A. Davenport, is a big fan of this one locomotive and so you know good for her she uh, she she really 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 likes this locomotive and uh, I'm happy that she does however she's been widely mocked by a number of people and um, I don't think that's right uh, I think that's uh, you know shaming and uh, I, I think it's I think it's it's uh, pretty pretty horrible what what uh, some people say about her, you know, is she, uh, what, what, what harm is it doing? Who is being harmed by, by this, by her liking this locomotive a lot? If it brings her happiness and joy, then good for her. And uh, I, I hope she can find uh, happiness uh, elsewhere now that the locomotive is gone. But it, uh, it really sickens me to see how people make fun of stuff like this because uh, there's no need for that and everyone has their own opinion their own favorites and uh, there's no need to be so hostile and mocking of people I um, I had a look in my archives to see if I had a picture of 210 I was in Chicago back in May of 2007 I took a picture of a few metro trains I don't have 210 but I did have a few like it. This is 193, and uh, 210 is the same model. Was the same model. Um, so this is an F40, but it's a I think it's a PHM2 or something. I'm not a rivet counter. Um, maybe that's a derogatory term that I shouldn't be using. Uh, I I'm not uh, an expert on on various classes of subclasses of locomotives. So it is, uh, but it. 193 and 210 were basically the same type of locomotive. So that's what it would have looked like. So, again, just to, just to re reiterate one more time, um, there's room for everyone in the hobby. Try to accept what other people like. And, uh, and uh, if it's not your thing, that's totally okay. Just, uh, just uh, accept that other people like different things from you. And uh, with, there's room for everyone in this hobby. Thanks for listening. You can uh, comment on this video uh, if you agree or disagree. Happy to happy to chat, and uh, you can visit my website, traingeek.ca. Thanks for listening and watching.